Hi, welcome again uh, on your PD education and uh, you are watching the daily GD updates uh, series and uh, you know as I've told you many times group discussion is a group discussion group task is a very simple thing it is not at all a difficult thing and uh, you can easily acquire it only thing is you need to practice you need to have some kind of practice and you need to have particular perspective to basically talk about a topic it is not related to content and enrichment that knowledge hona it is not related to that and also it is not related to that communication english mein bahut acha hona it is not related to that either it is how you speak aap baat kar lete hain dhang se baat karte hain aap right perspective mein bol lete hain it is all about that so uh aaj topic what i am going to discuss with you is uh, deeply religious societies are less developed you know whenever topic is given to you you have to introduce and introduction a couple of lines are same and then in the introduction you have to give the overall uh, perspective to the topic how the topic should be discussed further you have to talk about that so if i am to start it i will say uh, good morning friends my name is vijendra singh and i introduce all of you to the topic given to us for the discussion today uh, the topic is deeply religious societies are less developed so uh, i do not agree with this particular statement friends largely because there are examples with us where the societies are deeply religious but they are developed and we have other examples also where societies are deeply religious and they are less developed also so i will be giving all examples and we have those examples friends now i will uh, basically discuss we should discuss this entire topic in two perspective number one what do we understand by religious societies that means are we talking about the people or are we talking about the governments states i mean the society we have both we may say that people are religious whereas the state or government is a religious that means neutral something like in india india government of india is not religious it is not having any kind of religious affiliation it is neutral so religion is the personal matter of people in india in america these kind of countries or there are states like islamic state of iran pakistan so afghanistan so those states have acquired some religion for them like saudi arabia they say that they are islamic states so they assume them to be of particular religion so we will be talking about that and what is the meaning of development so development means uh, spiritual development if it is the spiritual development then it is a different thing or do we talk about the materialistic development are we talking about the materialistic development so when we say spiritual de development it is not infrastructure it is the development of the mind and it is the uh, psychological developments so spiritual development come with the practicing of spirituality or uh, religious practices we have to do so that is a different thing now friends i open the house for the discussion and in these directions we all can give our points to pehle aapko topic ki dissection karni hai you have to dissect the topic you have to break it into small small points so that the direction of the discussion could be given to all that is the first step we have to do now after that obviously now i give you some contents now uh, you know when religion becomes i say when religion when religion becomes state matter state matter you know what is the meaning of state matter that means government assume the religion particular thing then it gets politicized then it gets politicized to ye politicized ho jata hai and politicized ho jata hai then it becomes dirty and then the societies uh, suffer in other matters but when religion is personal matter it is the personal matter of people then it does not get politicized then the government is different and religion is different you know faith of people on god is individual matter people faith have faith on god that is your individual matter if you say i believe in god this god that god that is your individual matter state should not interfere in that and if that is there then there is no trouble societies will develop society ko develop kaun karta hai usme larger role government ka bhi hota hai so government should not channelize its energy on protection of particular religion or on propagation of particular religion government should try to develop the state that means infrastructure development health education quality of life of people employment literacy government should focus on that not on religion 
and if that is there then even if we are deeply religious because uh, infrastructure will not be religious people will be religious so why government is bothered about that let people practice whatever religion they want so that has to be like that religion has two part rituality spirituality rituality is practice part of religion and when we focus rituality more then there is a clash which normally comes when we focus spirituality part that is a goodness of religion then we do not basically clash there is no clash in the religion okay now i give you the examples of all kind of societies so if i talk about usa it is not deeply religious it is not deeply religious country but it is a developed country infrastructure wise it is a developed country if you talk about that when we talk about israel japan then they are deeply religious people are deeply religious but at the same time they are developed also when we talk about pakistan afghanistan pakistan afghanistan they are deeply religious they are deeply religious and not developed also not developed also so that means you will get all kind of examples all kind of examples so there are deeply religious and then there are developed also there are not deeply religious they are developed also all kind of examples so if every kind of examples are there i cannot agree with this statement and at the end you can say yes friends we had a good discussion we could get lot of examples we could uh, talk everything and uh, largely the group came to the consensus that yes it is not religious things which makes the society developed or not developed but yes it is all about when you want to develop the society then you have to channelize the energies in proper direction and what is the meaning of development for you that is also you need to understand because there are some religious societies which say development for us means spiritual development you don't want materialistic development we don't want this uh, electronics gadgets and all we want spiritual development so for them that is also development so this is how you will conclude the topic but yes these are controversial topics and these topics should be very properly handled fine